Here's a first look at the Shimano SLX 28 hole front hub. The one I purchased is a standard 100 millimeter and not the boost. This is the boost for 110 millimeter wide and I purchased the 28 hole version. I did get this online at Amazon from a third party seller. So that's why the box is a little beat up. So here's what the inside looks like. Pull it out and it looks like you don't get anything else other than the hub and in this case it's a little bit dirty. The hub I purchased is the through axle 15 millimeter through axle which is this width right here with the center lock disc compatibility. So I put it straight onto the scale and it comes in at approximately 142 grams. So when there's 28 holes, that means there's 14 holes on each side. And because this is the front hub, there's no ratcheting. You could spin the wheel forward or backwards. And initially, as you can see, the bearings are a little tight or a little stiff. It's going to take a while probably to break these in. And with the weight of the rim and the tire rod, I'm sure it's going to spin a lot more smoothly. This hub looks to be made in Malaysia. And not that it matters much, but I got the SLX because I want to build up a more entry level wheel set. And so I opted for the SLX rather than the XT or XTR hubs. The other thing to pay attention to when you purchase hubs is the distance between the end of the spoke hole to the outside. Hopefully more material would mean stronger. Now, if it's real thin, you're going to really want to make sure that you have a crossing on and that you do not ever lace these radial laced. Some companies may lace some radial laced, as in going straight to the rim on maybe the non brake side. However, I'd make sure I'd have at least a two cross for this wheel set. So from center to center, it's approximately 43 or 43.4 millimeters. Across here is approximately 55 millimeters. And axle to axle, the ends is 100.1, so almost 100 exactly millimeters. According to this measurement, the inside is 14.7. If I pull it out a little bit, it's 14.9 millimeters. More specifications can be found on the Shimano website for this hub and check on the description below as I could list some of that information down there too. If you did find this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe for more unboxing and cycling related content. Thanks so much and have a most wonderful day.